After hours of testing, tweaking, and spending a whole bunch of credits, I finally figured it out. Yes, you can generate vertical portrait videos using Google VO3. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it step by step, plus the perfect prompt structure that gave me consistent results. If this saves you time, effort, or credits, a simple thank you in the comments would mean a lot. It's what keeps me going, especially when I'm spending late nights testing this stuff so you don't have to. Also, if you don't yet have access to VO3 or you're wondering how to use it for free, I've made a full video guide showing you how to get three months of Google VO3 access without paying a dime. I'll drop the link to that video at the end. Let's get into it. First, here's the short answer. VO3 currently outputs 1080p landscape videos by default. That's fine for YouTube and desktop. But what if you want to create content for TikTok, Instagram Reels, or YouTube Shorts? You need portrait, vertical, video. And while Google hasn't added a direct portrait mode button yet, there is a way to guide Veo into giving you portrait-style framing using prompt engineering. Let me show you how I did it. After dozens of failed tests where Veo kept generating ultra-wide cinematic shots, I finally landed on a prompt structure that gave me clean, centered, vertically framed videos, not just letterboxed widescreen crops. Here's what worked. A close-up, vertically framed portrait video of subject, standing in the center of the frame, captured in vertical mode, cinematic lighting, sharp focus, shallow depth of field, 916 aspect ratio. Let me break that down for you. Close-up or medium shot tells Veo to zoom in and avoid wide-angle frames. Vertically framed and captured in vertical mode push the AI to prioritize center-weighted composition. Standing in the center of the frame reinforces the layout. 916 aspect ratio doesn't guarantee a vertical output but influences the visual style. Adding cinematic lighting, sharp focus, and shallow depth of field increases realism and TikTok style appeal. Here's an example of a full working prompt that gave me excellent vertical results. A close-up, vertically framed portrait video of a futuristic woman with glowing tattoos standing in a neon-lit alley, cinematic lighting, center of frame, 916 portrait aspect ratio, shallow depth of field, captured in vertical mobile mode. When I ran this prompt, Veo returned a subject framed tightly in the center with minimal background distractions. Perfect for shorts or reels. Now here's what didn't work, so you don't waste credits. Using only portrait mode without centered or close-up, results were still ultra-wide. Adding TikTok style, Veo misunderstood this and added overlays or strange colors. Using vertical video at the start of the prompt, for some reason it worked better near the end of the prompt after the subject was defined. Let's go deeper into some advanced techniques. If you want your video to look native on a phone, do this. Start with a narrow subject, a single person, standing or walking toward the camera. Avoid prompts with sweeping landscapes or large groups. Veo defaults those to horizontal framing. Add descriptions like filmed with a smartphone or mobile camera portrait mode to encourage vertical styling. You can even try. A vertical portrait video filmed on a smartphone showing subject from the waist up, walking slowly toward the camera, 916 aspect ratio, soft, natural light. If you want to create story style content, stitch two, three portrait clips together in a video editor like CapCut, Descript, or even the YouTube Studio Shorts editor. Each clip should stay centered and consistent in background and lighting. I recommend using a similar prompt structure across all clips and just changing the action or mood slightly. Here's an example flow. Clip 1. A woman in a hoodie stands alone on a rainy street, cinematic portrait video, center framed, 916 ratio. Clip 2. She begins walking slowly, neon reflections on the ground, filmed in vertical portrait style. Clip 3. She looks up as lightning flashes behind her. Dramatic close-up, portrait mode, mobile framing. Then you just stitch them together into a 15 to 30 second vertical narrative. So what's the catch? Right now, Veo doesn't literally export vertical 916 resolution. All clips are 16.9 by default. But with the prompt structure I've shown you, you can create videos where the action is framed vertically in the center, 
and then crop the edges or scale up in post, and it still looks clean. Quick tip. In CapCut or Premiere, set your sequence to 1080x 1920 and drag in the video clip. You'll instantly see if it passes the vertical test. If the subject is tight and vertical in composition, you're good. If not, tweak the prompt and try again. Let's wrap this up with the key takeaway. Google VO3 can absolutely be used for vertical portrait style videos. You just need to prompt it right. Use center framing, vertical terminology, cinematic focus, and 916 aspect ratio at the end of the prompt. With the method I showed you, you can start producing high quality AI videos for TikTok reels or shorts, even before most people realize VO can do this. And again, if this helped you out, drop a quick thank you in the comments. It tells me that sharing this kind of tested knowledge is actually useful to you, and it motivates me to keep going. If you haven't yet seen my tutorial on how to get access to Google VO3 for free, no paywalls, no tricks, I'll drop the video link right here at the end. Thanks for watching TechWise, and I'll see you in the next one.